apprehend the joy of Andoni people at the completion of the project until we hear from a man who was there when the project was conceptualized. May I, with the permission of His Excellency, also invite to present brief remarks the former National Chairman, People's Democratic Party, Prince Uche Secondus. Kelechuku, 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 he has done it for me. Even before I pray, Jehovah needs to answer me. Kelechuku, he has done it for me. And I tell you the good and thing, he was walking behind the scene. Kelechuku, he has done it for me. Thank you. Your Excellency, our dear beloved governor of River State and the leader of River State, Governor Sim Fubra. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Professor Ngozi Odu, the Speaker, my humbly stand on the existing protocol. Your Excellency, I believe that there will be no rain because we believe in God. So whoever that is trying to draw this rain, he has failed already. Your Excellency, this road was conceived by Dr. Peter Odili. And he laid the foundation, I think precisely, after the conception by January. That's why quite a lot of people don't, they thought it was 204. By January 205, Todd, I drove in the same car with him, and we arrived at Kenya in Bear in Kana local government and he laid that foundation. The contractor then, Rivigo, they had worked at Tundone Axis and also at the crossing over to Abonima. And so they came with speed and suddenly after the Dr. Dele left office in uh, 2007. They slowed down. And of course, the former governor, Amechi, started it all over with Rivigo and they took the Opobo axis very far. Your Excellency, I can tell you that it wasn't easy. After I discussed the matter with the governor then, I went over to the deputy governor, Sir Gabriel Toby. It was two of us. So history must be, we must tell the correct history of this road. Gabriel Toby and I sat with Dr. Dilly and employed the Minister of Works, the civil engineers, Mel Bevues was the external consultant and they started to plot the road. And by the grace of God, there were key two persons, Paul Ruben and Ekemre Esuku, who led the consultant and they pierced through the virgin forest, as you can see, and the design was done. By 2007, we had crossed the two bridges, one from the Ogoni side and one from the Andoni side, to Asrama. And I can recall that Amechi was invited by the Andoni people and we held Thanksgiving service because it has never happened before. It took our people hundreds of years. Usually you have to paddle the canoe 
all the way from Ikotabasi. It was then known as Igwenga, or from a car, or from Potakot, that we could drive into and on the land. It was a mere miracle. Even today, as we drove to Ngo, it's still a miracle. Because I believe that those who were there before, our ancestors, our forefathers, couldn't believe. If they were to come back, they wouldn't know that the same Andoni where they come from. Your Excellency, I want to thank specifically. It takes a man of integrity and goodwill who was ready to spread development across the, uh, the river state, especially the river run area. Your Excellency, I recall that Dr. Dili build the general hospital Lungo, there was no general hospital. It was health center. Whether I commissioned it or not, that hospital started functioning. And by the grace of God, we have it. It will be upgraded. It is left for your government. We pray that we should have leaders like Dr. Dili. And I can see the humility in our governor. He has the same humility and character of Dr. Dili. And I believe that, like our representative said, you know, is full of energy. For those of us who are getting older, we have to make sure that we feel the contours. By the grace of God, Your Excellency, this road, by the original plan, will not stop at Ungo. It was supposed to get to Yorokoto, the largest fishing port in Nigeria. Your Excellency, back to the east, from Ikuru Town, we believe that this road should get to where we call Agbama. It will pass Queenstown and all the neighboring villages. A stretch of it. It's about 30 kilometers. And you can see that empties into the shoreline of Nigeria. The, one of the longest shoreline in Nigeria, in the Niger Delta, for, to open for tourism. Your Excellency, I recall too, our people used to go through very difficult time to go to the shore. But I recall that Governor Mechi, by the grace of God, created an access from the Ikrutan angle down to the ocean where we used to gather every December for beach party. The beach is very virgin, Your Excellency, and is calling for development. Your Excellency, let me also inform you, sir, and I know you have the records. The oil well in Ikrutan Mined by green energy. Today is producing 11,000 barrels of crude oil every day. The one by the side at the ocean, a little bit offshore. But the one in Ikuruta is, is onshore. Uh, from my house to that place is about um, uh, less than two kilometers. Your Excellency, the one at Oyokoto is producing 22,000 barrels of oil every day. You can see the plight of Niger Delta. And you can see that this place requires development. Because 13%, I know, had come over the years. But I know that you, as Chartered accountant, and you have occupied the office of accountant general, you will do justice to the people of River State. Your Excellency, I want to thank you and take home. The Bible says in Isaiah 41, verse 10, Fear not, you are moving in the right direction. Fear not. You are our governor and our leader, and we will support you to the end. 
this is the first time from this axis, the Opobo and Doni axis. We used to be in one local government. So we are proud that God has chosen you. And I know those who are before you were also chosen by others. I don't want to mention names. But by the grace of God, you are our governor. And coming from this side of the River Rhine, entire River Rhine, I'm not given to tribal talks, but you are a German. I believe that you are brothers across. First of all, will give you support. Whether they are in River State or outside River State, they will give you support. And I believe that all our brothers in the upland area, they will give you support. So, be rest assured that you have 100% support for our people. That's how this road started. It started by Dr. Dele. And we drove in into Andone Asrama. And I believe that before um, um, long, the Opobo people drove also to um, um, Opobo before the last governor came in on board. And we were driving also to Ikrutan, but there was no asphalt. And so I want to thank the MCC and the executives of the MCC for doing a good job. And by the grace of God, it is maintenance now. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you and God bless.